Hello everybody, today's video is going to be an unboxing from the HK Now store. This puzzle won't be available to most people for a couple of months yet, um, but Calvin has sent me one because he really likes my videos and I guess uh, he wants me to make a promotion video for him. So I am going to do that. This is a mass produced 4x4x6. I'm sure a lot of you have seen my 4x4x6 that I got from Shapeways and uh, Calvin from the HK Now store has actually made a brand of puzzles called Calvin Puzzles and this is the one that he has started with. And uh, Tom Z is the original creator of this puzzle, as most of you know. And uh, it's highly, highly anticipated. I mean, a lot of people have wanted this puzzle for quite a while. Oh, I got more packaging here. Okay. But a lot of people have wanted this puzzle for quite a while. Uh, I know that, you know, a lot of people didn't know about it. And then when I started showing my, um, my, Shapeways one, you know, people were like, wow, I really want that cuboid. Well, you know, it's gonna be happening really soon So you guys are going to be having the chance to get one without having to spend a couple of hundred dollars from Shapeways And uh, apparently this is the exact same mechanism. So we'll see in the end. All right, so there is the cube So let's get into this and see what it looks like and how it feels. I Really like the weight of this so far the weight the weight seems pretty good. Anything here? Nope. So let's get rid of all this. Okay, so first what I want to do is do a size comparison. And the size is exactly the same. Um, it does weigh considerably more than this, of course, because this is uh, Shapeways material and it, um, it doesn't weigh very much at all. It's almost like holding styrofoam. And this is, it feels like it weighs a lot more. Um, so the turning of this, first impressions, is it's, uh, it's very smooth. But I can feel a little bit of grinding, but uh, I'm sure that'll go away with breaking in. Wow, these ones are really nice here. Um, so let's just test out all the layers. That works really smooth. The middle is actually very smooth. That's quite impressive, actually. And let's get to this one. I'm very, very glad that this got mass produced. This is one of the puzzles that I was hoping would get mass produced. I would do a checkerboard pattern, but you can't do a checkerboard pattern on uh, this cube wow so it, it is it is very well built it's very nice and I'm guessing if it's the same as the shapeways one that you can split it right here oh I can see that the inside is white oh, it's very tight I can't even open it up but I'm sure it's exactly the same if I can uh, you know I'm gonna be taking a break here in a second so I can play with it and then give you my actual opinions on it but I'm pretty sure that it is the same mechanism. I think that's what Tom Z said. So I know that this thing cuts corners very well. Wow. Very good puzzle. Um, I can't wait for you guys to get this. Like the uh, four by four by six has been one of my favorite puzzles for a long time. And um, I've wanted it to get mass produced so everybody could have a chance. And it's sort of based off the V cube mechanism. Uh, I can't really, you can't really see it in there, but there's little V cube pieces. You can see it's it's not V cube obviously, but it's based off of the the mechanism there. One of the differences between this and the Shapeways version is that on here, these are in two pieces put together, and that's how you can see the line through the sticker there. And here you can see it says Calvin's Puzzle, and that's Calvin's new logo. So there's also a logo on the inside too for Tom Z, and there it is here. I don't think you guys can see that because of the black, but it says Tom Z right inside there. And then on uh, this side here, it says Calvin. And uh, it's got some lubrication on it. I'm not sure what kind of lubrication it is, but it seems to be okay. So let's give this thing a scramble and uh, see how it turns when I'm scrambling it. So as uh, most of you probably know, you have to scramble a cuboid like this as a cuboid first before you start shape shifting the cube. And the reason for that is because if you don't, then it's just going to be, it's not going to be an actual cuboid solve. It'll just be a cube solve. So I think that's a pretty good scramble. So let's go into the shape shifting now. And yeah, this thing shape shifts really quick, as you can see. A little bit too much lubrication, I think. My hands are, are getting really, really greasy and it's getting on the outside of the puzzle now. But I, I will probably take this, you know, I'll retension this and, and put Lubix in it and take it apart and all that kind of stuff. Just to, you know, have it the way I like it. So there's the shape shifted cube. That's the shape shifted 4x4x6 by Calvin Puzzle and Tom Z. 
All right, guys, I am going to go and solve this a few times and uh, come back with uh, some final thoughts. All right, so I've had this puzzle for a few hours now, and I think that I've had it long enough and solved it enough times that I can give you more of an impression on it. Uh, I don't need to take a few days. I don't think my uh, opinion on it will change over a few days. So this puzzle is really well built. It hasn't popped on me at all. I've probably solved it about 10 times in the last couple of hours just to, you know, break it in a bit and uh, see exactly how I feel about things. And I have to say that it is, it is well built. And um, the, as far as the turning goes, like the turning gets better and better and better. Like these layers obviously are really good as you can see. Um, comparing it to my Shapeways one, you can see that these ones are super smooth. They're very, very smooth. And I, and I do have to say that the Shapeways is smoother than this one. But I mean, I did pay $200 for this. And, um, you know, it's, it's not molded, it's printed, you know. So there's no seams and things like that on this one. But uh, on this... The, the turning is still very good regardless. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, just because of the, you know, the odd shape of the puzzle and stuff like that. I thought maybe, you know, the shape would kind of throw off the turning a bit. And uh, I guess it kind of does on these top layers here because these two layers are connected to the core together, I believe, is from what I can remember. But anyways, uh, these layers here, they're a bit catchy. You can kind of hear it grinding. But it doesn't stop you from finger tricking it at all. It just feels a little bit grindy. And I'm pretty sure that'll go away as time goes on. And I did open it up a little bit. I'll see if I can uh, open this up a little bit for you guys. And take a couple of pieces out. So you can sort of get an idea of what they look like. Okay, so now you can really see that, you know, it's sort of like the V-Cube 6 mechanism. Um, how it's all put together. I'll show you a little bit more all right so here you can see that these are sort of like the v-cube pieces right like they fit together and then they go in there and uh, if you've seen an x-cube you can see that you know it uses the x-cube design which is inspired by me myself and pi so if he's watching this you know uh your you know your ideas are are proving themselves good in a lot of different kinds of puzzles as you can see now this one's been mass produced and uh Tom Z even, I think, referenced your uh, your mod while he said he was, you know, when he was describing it. So I'm just going to get this back together here. As you can see, this piece here is quite interesting. All that holds it in is just this little tiny hook. And it holds it in just like that. And it is exactly the same as the Shapeways one. But that's how it goes in. And then, uh, you know, these are sort of like the standard corner pieces that you might find on cubes these days. You know, they have that little hook and then it hooks in just like this. And then the same thing like this, you know, it 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 kind of grips the core. So you put it in and it just fits in very, very easily. It's a very good design. Obviously, it's incorporating, you know, a bunch of different things from a few things. It's the Pi mod, plus it's the V-Cube thing, plus an original uh, shape design. And you know what I mean? It's a, it's a collaboration of a whole bunch of really good stuff. So you can't really go wrong with this. And uh, one thing I didn't notice when I was doing the unboxing is, yeah, it's got the Calvin sign here, but it's also got the Tom Z logo here. And that's the classic Tom Z logo. That's a signature from what I know. Um, so yeah, like I said, the corner cutting is really good on this. I've never had it pop. It is a little bit catchy, but there's nothing we can really do about that. I'm sure that'll go away with breaking in. I am going to be doing a full tutorial on this cube as well. I've got a whole new design for um, tutorials that I'm, you might see before this because I think there's a couple months before this comes out. So there's no point in me putting it out quite yet. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see it you know, sooner or not. And I'll start making it because sometimes it's cool to get a sneak peek into how to solve a cube. But So a little bit on the specs of this cube now. Um, this is made with pure ABS plastic. So it's a little bit softer than your usual PVC or uh, you know, ABS mixed with PVC plastic. Uh, Calvin told me that it is pure ABS and I can feel that too because I mean, it's just like a, a soft feel to it. You know, it reacts very well with lubricant. Oh, and when I did open this puzzle up earlier, I did not lube it with Lubix like I said I was going to. It seems to be turning fine on its own. And now that, you know, I played with it and solved it around 10 times, I pretty much wiped all of the uh, extra lube off. Like I, I went through and I lubed, uh, sorry, I wiped it off these sections here which is where it was coming 
off onto my hands. So there's there's no more lube there. Um, but it, it turns very well. I mean, what you really need to do is keep the core lubed so the actual pieces themselves can slide across each other very well. But as far as these outer layers, I found it was a little bit too lubricated and I had to um, unlubricate it a little bit. So let's take a look at the colors now. As you can see, it's very distinguishable between the uh, orange and red. And I will show you on the shapeways that there's not very much di color difference between the orange and red. And again, they're very close on the green, but on the blue, you can see that on the Tom Z and Calvin one, it is very much lighter and it's more distinguishable on the white and the yellow. I mean, white's pretty standard, but the yellow on um, Calvin's puzzle here is quite a bit brighter and I kind of like that a bit. Um, I do like this color, but you know, all the colors, I don't know, the colors on each of these puzzles complement themselves, if you know what I mean. Like this one sort of has a little bit, you know, brighter kind of standouty colors and this has a little bit more dull, plain colors, but goes good with the uh, lighter color of the uh, Shapeways material. So I highly suggest that you guys get this. I know you can't get it yet. And it's kind of a tease that I'm showing you guys this. Um, but you know, like there's not a lot of people on YouTube that have a four by four by six. I know Tony Fisher has made some, he's got a video on it. Um, of course, uh, super Antonio Vivaldi. He, I think he was the first guy to really show the, you know, the Shapeways four by four by six and he got me into it. you know, his, his plan to show these really, really awesome puzzles was to get people to buy them so they could be mass produced and look what's happened. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I was a part of that, you know, people buying the original, more expensive uh, mass produced item to show interest in it. So, you know, it would be mass produced and here it is. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I am the one who did it or anything like that, but I think that, you know, it's a collaboration of people contributing to buy these puzzles to show interest that it got mass produced. And I'm very, very glad that I have both versions now so I can actually, you know, show you the difference between them, which there's not much except for the weight and, um, you know, in the turning, you know, this, I find that this one's a little bit more smooth. Um, this one is actually my, I don't know, this one is really smooth now. Um, pretty sure this one's going to get just as smooth, but I know it's going to be a couple of, couple of months or something before you can get them and they will be available of course at the HK now store because that's where Calvin is. Uh, but he says that he is shipping them all around the world and I'm pretty sure that maybe that shipping's already started to happen. He's going to be having some all over, uh, you know, like Taiwan and, um, basically everywhere, you know, all over the U S and things like that. So you can probably expect cubes like this from speed cube shop. Uh, Cube Depot, things like that, if you didn't want to um, get it from, you know, across the other side of the world or whatever, you know, they're going to be everywhere apparently. So I'm uh, not really promoting HK Now store or, you know, any kind of other store. What I'm promoting here is Tom Z and the brand, which is Calvin Puzzles. Um, so this is, I think, the first puzzle from him and it's a very good one. That's all I got to say on it. Thanks everybody. I'll see you on my next video. All right, everybody, this video's question comes from Garage Geek Show, who asks, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Please keep your answers short. I also want you to ask a question. You know the drill now. Ask a question. It might get picked for next week as well, so keep your answers and your questions in separate comments. That would be great. It's a lot easier for me. And last week's question was, what's the stupidest thing that you've done in public? And here are some of your answers. I guess there's something here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. How does this box open? So you can see how nice it looks all checkered, or I guess lined, or bah. Oh, I don't want to scramble too far yet. Oh, what did I do? See, it's a pain in the butt to put together, just like a 6x6. Six six. 